Oh, so swish, these new jazzies, aren't they? Just getting things all in order before our big move online, aren't we? Nice. Unlike today, I imagine. But hey, it's over, and tonight on three is just beginning. With Top Gear, after 60 seconds, next. Hello, everyone. It's really incredible. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they hit the part, don't they? Hail imitation. Oh, oh sick. <laughs> Let's do this. Absolutely smashing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Hi, I'm Sam, checking what Global TV is reporting. Who's the new English jihadi? The question on Sky. ITV says security experts are analysing so-called Islamic State's new video. The PM on BBC News calling it desperate stuff. A car speeding into a key news flashed on Australia's 7. ABC said a man and two kids were found dead inside. Investigators told Nine they think it's a murder-suicide. India TV showed damage from a deadly earthquake in Manipur. Locals told them they ran for their lives as buildings crumbled. NDTV at the epicentre confirming eight dead. New border controls in Sweden on TV. Before they explained all passengers from Denmark now have their passport checked. DR1 said it's to slow the flow of migrants. And CBS met the dying dog with a bucket list. Reyes has eaten chips, watched a sunset and built a snowman. Her American owner said he's got 81 ways to give her a good send-off. Updates from us throughout the night. First up, it's Top Gear. Getting married in a hot air balloon. Nothing if not original, eh? Don't tell the bride, 8 o'clock here on 3. Top Gear doing its stuff first up tonight, though, with all sorts of beauties up their motor-shaped sleeves.